name's Jaffet Olivier. Um, came out here from Texas to move in with a roommate. Um, came out here, stayed at the shelter for a couple weeks, moved in with my roommate, lived with her for like four months, didn't work out, and became homeless yet again and came here. Um, that, that, that's how I came to be. How do you get to homes now? I mean, how did I get to it? Yeah. Um, by word, word of mouth at first, um, when I was homeless, homeless um, coming in, heard it through, um, what is it called? Um, by City Hall. And, oh, that's what I forgot. I was at Swift Haven. Oh, okay. And then moved in with my roommate and then became homeless. Moved over here to um, homes, homes now. So what's, what's the process like in getting in? And it's a little process. Um, do a paperwork, let them do a background check. Um, make sure that I'm safe. I, I, I don't have any crimes and stuff like that. Um, see if the people um, do an interview with uh, the tenants here and see if they like me and let them vote to get me in here. Luckily enough, they voted me in and I've been here for a little over six months. Okay. So what's, uh, you said you were at Swift Haven before yeah. one of the other villages. Yeah. How does that compare? This has more order. At that time, I helped set up um, Swift Haven right when it first opened up. I was in a tent. I remember that, yeah. yeah. And helped started bringing in the, the first homes. I was one of the originals at Swift Haven, but I got my place within a, within a month <laughs> and moved in and went from there. <laughs> and here I am now. So you say that's more order. Is it? Is it? Um, the the rules are or? the rules. The peop, it, The management, the the structure of the place, is held down better. It's like they they've done it more often and they have the routine down. Just a little more established. Yeah. The establishment over at Swift Haven was not there. We had to set it up. But I, I believe um, Swift Haven could eventually be like Unity Village. So you think there should be more of these kinds of villages? Oh, God, yes. Um, from this to this be, I would like, I would like it to, I would like something like this be seen as a foothold for the homeless and have like another community that actually, um, who wants to live in these areas, in certain areas, have an establishment where, um, how can I say this, um, an establishment where they will help the community. Um, once they get back up on their feet through here, if they want to stay, wanted to stay, um, somehow, um, be able to live here and contribute to the community. So you think it, they should establish more long-term villages, you mean? Y yeah, not, not villages per se. If they were a village, it'd be no more than maybe four or five at tops mm -hmm. because they would be doing their own thing and providing for a society. I couldn't see, I could see a community, but I don't see that in the short term. That'd be a, a very long term process into the future. What's next for you? What do you see sort of the, um, the future here? Saving up enough money so I can ha get myself a truck, um, go around, after getting the truck, go around um, offering my services for what I can do to the community, get my face out there and just be able to help whichever way I can, mm -hmm. from donating my time to making extra money, whatever it, 
takes to show that I like to stay here and be part of the community. Yeah, giving back to the larger. Yeah. Sure. So would you say that homelessness is an, is an issue that's getting worse, increasing? Or it's increasing? increasing to the point where eventually it's going to be rich people and homeless people. If um, the economy goes the way it goes, from my opinion. Bigger gap between the Big. upper class and the yeah. upper class, yeah. What would you say, and this has probably changed over the years, but would, what would you say is the primary reason that people find themselves homeless? That, that That's a hard question. And most individuals, individual um in an individual basis uh, i say for the most part they made an error in judgment and it hurt them and they couldn't repair um um rebound from it and they went into the hole and became homeless yeah, yeah it, it's those ones that somehow get them in a, in a civil way, get rid of them. <laughs> in a civil way. In a civil way. In a civil way. Okay. So what do we, you know, <laughs> that's a controversial question. It, it is. What do you do for the folks that... Uh, you know, maybe in the in the idiot category, as you said. But, uh. it, there are those idiots that <laughs> they want to get out of it, but they don't know how. And our system, uh, our system that we govern over those type of people, it may have worked in the past, but it's not working now. It has to change a uh, revolutionary change on it a, a total new system if they don't do if we don't do that it's only going to get worse how would you change it if, if you could My, me personally I, it's a radical move at first it would really hurt us but in the long run I think it would help Get rid of all the politicians, every last one of them. Uh, Republican, independent, um, Democrat, doesn't matter. All of them gone. Start fresh. Get new politicians that would um, uh, donate their time to do, to govern. Uh, our forefathers, um, they didn't get paid. Why should politicians today get paid? It's a voluntary job. More of a pure democratic kind of yeah actual public servant like yeah sort of situation so yeah <laughs> okay um tell me about a little bit about the you know the, the government here the sort of self-government situation in the village uh, uh, um, with due respect to them they have a they have a hard, hard shoes to fill. It, it is not an easy job, I know that. And they have to put up with every type of culture out there. Plus our government on top of it. Um, but I'm a little disappointed with them. Um, it, it seems they, they want to help, but they want to put procedure or procedure and rules and regulations on top of 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 a system putting the system and rules where it should not be and it they think it's right but it's only hindering them um i i see it that what they're doing is um they 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 they, they want to eliminate homeless and it seems like they want to kill us off. Just kill them, kill us. <laughs> Get rid of everybody. Yeah. Somewhere. And uh, what they call, 
what it seems like in a, a civil way, <laughs> which is not. I say it's the most inhumane thing out there. So what could they do differently, do you think? The... Work with Doug. <laughs> Work with Tina. Um, come Have city council, have government officials come out and talk to us. <laughs> Just get to know us. Have you ever had any... Uh, any... Very little. Very little. And it, it, it was mainly on the lines by City Hall, and it was very, very brief. I, not once have I seen City Council or any government official come over and just visit to get to know us. They come over f with procedure and what can we do to make it harder on them. That's what I see. What's, what's the, uh, what would you say is the difference between being homeless and houseless? Um, homeless and homeless and houseless. Um, homeless, you're you're out on the streets. You're you're battling the elements. Houseless, you could be in a, a structure, um, a small structure, a car, um, a structure, uh, um, a, a shelter. Um, Something like this, um, or car, RV, being houseless. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. I think it has anything to do with economics, like whether you have a job or... No, no. People being homeless or houseless, I've seen them have, have jobs. But classifying job, that could be, to me, is um, um, doing yard work and getting paid. That could, that's a job to me. But in the uh, government's, government side, it's a paycheck and W-2 forms and all that. Um, that would categorize you um, not being homeless. Because... I, Getting the paycheck and all that, you would have to have a house. You have to have some place of residence. Yeah, you have to have a home address. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That sort of uh, catch-22 that you have to be... You yeah. have to have a home in order to have a job. You have to have a job in order to have a home. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. It's a loophole. They, they, they send you in a loop. Is there anything else you would like to add or say to people watching this? If you're in the Fairhaven, Bellingham area or Whatcom County, if you want to come over and talk to me or possibly anybody who would allow, allow you to come and talk to them, I, I would appreciate it. Let you get to know us. Um, we're just here, or at least I'm here, to better my life and to help the community. I came here before and I love the people here and I want to see if I can help.